Hi, my name is Ken Asselson. Today I added in two new features which I want to do a quick walkthrough. And with Change the Microbiome, there are two new items which they added. One is reduced histamine producers, one is increased anti inflammatory. I think I'll spell a mistake there. Okay, now let's get a background. If you go over into um, your system and there and if you click on health analysis you will see anti-inflammatory score and histamine producer it's this person's particularly yeah, is up there for anti-inflammatory which is good they may want to raise it higher histamine producer is high they more than likely want to reduce it this particular person i do know have histamine issues um and if you go back oh, a while you see the numbers are lower. So the person histamine response has been going up. The anti-inflammatory one has also been going up, which is good. But often the anti-inflammatory may be connected to the histamine, more histamine by anti-inflammatory. So you end up having a yin-yang, which ends up balancing with shifts one way or the other. Okay, regardless, let's go over and take a look. First of all, instead of just clicking the, just give me suggestions, we are going to go over and first of all, empty the basket. And now we are going to go and, uh, which one should we do? We'll, we'll do biome sites, latest one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to reduce the histamine producers. Uh, we can do everything or whatever. And it goes and calculates it. It says there's only one bacteria where it's a smink producer, which is problematic, which is colostrum, which is sitting there. And then we have the suggestions down below. You will usually have this type of thing happening for most leaves because the number of items being focused on is relatively small. And we'll go back and instead of doing histamine producers, we are, we're going to try to increase the anti inflammatory everything get suggestions and again here we see which ones we want to increase and both of those are there and we can go down here and take a look at the suggestions at this point in time we could go over and just look at the consensus taking a look at the results of those two things only and we'll get things and we have items listed out there the usual uh, next episode is Casey. I'm not surprised for prior Casey because both of those I know have been used for the treatment of allergy. And since we one of the things is histamine for it to show up on you know, the top of the list as a probiotic suggestion is not surprising. However, we may want to do add in more. And for example, so let's suppose we want to do the calcium fault trap changes and we'll do everything. And that means we, we will stop looking at just those small group of bacteria. We're also going to look at everything else. 91 other items were flagged as being abnormal or not akin. And we can go back here and do best consensus. And there we have it. And we have everything there. And we can see how many times it was done as a consensus. So basically the top list are things which were have been constantly stated should take. Some of them were absolutely to take like red seaweed, um, there broccoli, everything. So you see the plus and the minus there. Um, the like so Casey comes out being absolutely beautiful, which it, which is it's a particular version is like cute which is available in most supermarkets and you can see that it absolutely comes in not the highest value but everybody absolutely agrees on it of course we can go and play around with different things highest value but you really want to have high value and high take count so reservatol is there um we have um hmos is there etc so that's basically it. It's just simply pointing out 
So we now have two new items which you can add to your smorgasbord of getting suggestions and have a suggestion emphasize things that are these two as well as dealing with the rest of your microbiome issues. Okay, nice, short and simple.